at that. That's far enough. What's your business down here? Answer honestly and maybe we'll kill you clean. Whoa, hold your arrows. This is Rugen's saviour, I'll bet. He told us all about you. Come on in then. Any friend of Rugen's is a friend of the family. Watch how you go. There's a trap. Hope you weren't swallowed, me. I want to have a word. Don't you cut a fine figure? Want your portrait done? If you have the gold, my pet artist will make you a most heroical likeness. Let's say we're his patrons, yeah? Found him wandering the wilds alone. He needs protection. And if his paintings cover our costs, so much the better, eh? Are you looking to buy him? I'm open to offers, mate. Threats? Not so much. These artsy tossers always have friends in high places. That's why they're valuable. But, yeah, might be we've drawn enough attention to this place. Say the money, bastard, if he means that much to you. That is crap would sell anyway. There's no need for this. Free me now, and I'll see that my patron rewards you. I need only tell her it's a gambler. say I've ever been bought before. How much did I fetch? No, don't tell me. There's nothing so depressing as learning one's true value. Well, you should at least know what you've paid for. I am the Oscar Fevras, at your service. An affliction for which you cannot be faulted this far from civilization. But my patron will be most grateful for your heroics. My betrothed, I should say. Assuming Lady Janeth still wishes to marry me after our little, um, falling out. You recall a recent scandal. A patriar of Baldur's Gate who wished to marry a commoner. I did not run away. A date was never set. There were complications. Be before my fame, my patron, there was a uh, another woman. 
one I planned to spend my life with. But when Lady Janeth offered me a future, well, it felt only right to mention my past. Right, but unwise. I was forced to retreat into the countryside to paint and to clear my head. To choose, I suppose. Hmm? Oh, absolutely none. Uh, fame and wealth suit me very well, no doubt. And yet, I think of that first love, and I hesitate. <laughs> Likely I'm going mad. Regardless, we have more immediate concerns. Your reward once I've returned to the city, for one. Say, you... I don't suppose you could spare some coin, could you? Ease the discomforts of the road some... Hero to the hilt. Seek me out in the city. Truly. Beneath my brush, you'll live forever. Until Baldur's Gate, then. You're the one who recruited me, Rugen. You're the one who taught me rule number one. Remember! <laughs> no. Ollie didn't remember either. Did you, Ollie? You're dead the moment you steal from the Zentarim. No matter who you are. You recall an old Zentarim proverb coined by their founder. Silver tongue on you. Usually I'd rip it out, but these aren't normal times. Tell you what, you've already taken Rugen's cargo, so finish the job and I'll let you live. Deliver it to Baldur's Gate. Oh, and kill him. Wait, wait! It was Ollie. I swear it was Ollie! Show some respect, Rugen. The boy was loyal to you till the end. No, 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 no! Please! And just like that, everyone profits. All right then, recruit. You can stock up here and be on your way. Bring the cargo to Baldur's Gate. Someone there will make contact. I need a quick word. Welcome to the family. Don't get comfortable. That shipment's wanted in Baldur's Gate. Our trader can show you some of our more exotic items now. But don't delay. This place is likely to be rubble soon. Frightened of wolves, Shadowheart. Everyone's frightened of something. No one stopped me yet. I'd like some time to talk. I suppose you've noticed I'm not terribly fond of wolves. They're ravenous predators with fangs like daggers. It's hardly an irrational fear to harbor. You've been decent to me so far. 
Maybe if you can, don't make me face any more of them. At least, not alone. Thank you. I had a feeling you'd be understanding. Must we? No harm in a little mystery, don't you think? Easy is often less interesting. Besides, we've plenty of reason to rely on each other already. You can't confide in just anyone about a monster in your head. Sweet of you, but don't worry. I'm sure you'll get to know me just fine by traveling together. No need for interrogations just yet. Thank you. I'm sure we'll get along perfectly well. Well, hello. Ready or not. pocket operating nearby. You feel the arrow of suspicion pointing your way. Your honesty speaks for itself. It seems you're free to go. Don't waste a step.
have to keep going. Gods, what's happening? are you? They're coming. They're coming. Careful. If we can hear it, perhaps it can hear us. They're coming. You're coming. from me!
shall we? That's curious. Over there. 